are we? Are we simply what others want us to be? Or are we destined to a fate beyond our control? Or can we improve to become something more? I have learned in Jordan that courage is not the absence of fear, but courage is mastering fear. Who is not courageous enough to take risk will accomplish nothing in life. We all want success, but we know nothing about how success feels like. For me, success is a feeling created by something we long for. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, but you still hopeful. When the road you are walking slowly seems all uphill, but you keep going. When you are locked up with no crime, but you still believe one day justice will be served then you will understand that success means different things for different people. Walking through the doors of Hamas Wolf Immigration Detention Center, I still remember that feeling of success, the feeling of freedom. Rest if you must, but don't you ever quit and you can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit seems insignificant. It is when things go wrong that you mustn't quit. But the oldest question that we have been tackling since we have scribbling on the walls of cave is who decide what is success. How do we judge success? For someone who is trying to overcome trauma, abuse, rape, starvation, and death in attempt to reach a sanctuary, is that a success? What about navigating poverty, loss, uncertainty, disbelief, stigma, and prejudice in a new country? Would it be a success too? learn in Jordan that history doesn't make itself. It is men and women who make history through their actions. In periods where there is no leadership, society stands still. Progress occurs when courageous, skillful people seize the opportunity to change things for other human beings for the better. How do we judge success. In a Salam as in a Colosseum then, like the gladiators, we are judged thumbs up or thumb down. In the end, it's others who decide our fate. For us refugees, as it is often as in the Colosseum, things are far more complex than that. So the line between failure and success is so thin and it is cruel. At home, we are victim of a system which torture and imprison innocent people. And in exile, we are victim of a system which disbelieve and traumatize. Facing persecution, you are faced by a split, finest margin to decide, stay or go. Any second delay, the consequences could be deadly. Yes, saving one life should be celebrated as a golden triumph, followed not by any hangover, but by more celebration. But what of those who came so close? Did they fail? Life can be brutal. How can you fail when you have given your all? It is not the attempt who count, 
not the men or women who decide asylum granted or refused, or those who done it could have done it better. The credit belong to the men and women who actually in the arena, whose face is covered by dust, sweat, and blood, who strive violently, who navigate poverty, loss, uncertainty, disbelief, stigma, and prejudice, who come short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the best they can, who knows the great risk taking, but take it anyway, or the great devotion of people of kindness and compassion who spend the entire of their life in a worthy cause. Is success not to exceed your own hope? What about picking yourself up when you fall and keep on till the very end? Perhaps success is being able to live free at last, carried by a glimmer of hope. Whatever you do, you need courage. Whatever course you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you that you are wrong. There are always difficulty arising that tempt you to believe your critic are right. Every refugee is a shiny star, shiny brightly as ours, but only few of us see the light from distance. But there are other stars that fell. Those who could not make it come so close to have it all. Miss the chance or miss the turn. Even the greatest were shown to have some frailty as we do. We hope and we shall hope. We have shown at the very end and then fitting for celebration. So how do we judge our action? Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Time is luck and nobody knows when that luck will run out. So I decide I don't waste my time. I want to make my time count for something greater. Fight for what matter to me, no matter what. Sometimes I have to remind myself that on my worst day, I live like somebody on the greatest day. Courage is going from failure to failure without losing hope. Just take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the end of the tunnel. Just take the first step. What people don't understand, they fear it. What they fear, they tend to destroy. Thank you, Ahmed, Saeed, Yusef, Zara, Omar, Jane, Duane, Catherine, Anaji, Dr. Hannah, Mary, Diana, Sora, and others for showing me what is success. This video I dedicated to you, all the survivors and those who support them in Jordan. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Inshallah, I will see you very soon.